Today I'm going to be doing a full review and tutorial of what I think is the best video editing app for iPad in 2021. This app is called InShot and it is packed with a ton of great features to make your videos look more professional and more fun to watch. Might I mention that I have made all my other videos with InShot and InShot is super easy to use so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the freeze icon. You click freeze and in the middle of your video it'll go to a picture and then back to video again. And to erase anything you did you can click the backspace button and the split button will split your video in half and turn it into a different video and they'll, that will help a lot because then you can add or do different things on the same video but it split it into two different videos. You can click the delete icon and it would delete whatever video you want. You can even click pre-cut and you can pre-cut your video to where you want it to be. You can zoom and then it will go a little bit closer in so that you can see what you're doing. Then you will click check and it will be all done. I'm going to show you the filters. You click the filter icon and there are so many filters just so many filters you can adjust the opacity of the filter and how much it shows through onto your video there's spot one spot three cinematic duo it's it's just crazy there's so many different things that you can choose from and they all help your videos look much more professional and more fun to watch just like i said You can click the more icon and it will bring you to like a little shop where you can download different filters. I can't believe they have this. You can also go to adjust and adjust the lightness, the contrast. The warmth. The tint. the saturation of the video and you can do curves and it would change dramatically the color of your video or photo and you can go to greens and it would change the greens you can go to blue and it would change the blues and so on you can also go to HSL this is by far my favorite part of the whole system this gives you so much control and you can change literally any part of the color on the frame that you want to change you can change the background of the sky from blue to green to red to yellow and so on it is so easy to use you can also go to saturation and luminance and do the same thing it is so easy i wanted to show you the effects icon you'll click on that and it will bring you to the glitch, beat, retro, celebrate, style and distort. It is so easy and you just click on them and adjust the value of how much you would like it to be in your video. And then you can click the play button up there or you can click the check mark and you will be done. And you will see that it zooms in to the video here. It's that easy. You can go back to effects anytime you want and add or change an effect. Like you can do jump zoom. And you can adjust the value of it. You can do swirls and make the swirl bigger or slower or faster or smaller, whatever you want. There is glitch and TV, it's so easy to use. You can move, drag and adjust where you would like your effects to be in your video timeline. Look at that, now it's snowing even though it's not. And to change or edit the effects all you have to do is click the edit button and you can adjust the value of that effect from there and we got to the stickers the best part there are literally 
endless, endless, endless stickers. You can scroll through all these different things and find literally whatever sticker you want. Snowflakes, all social media stickers, all text stickers, YouTube and Facebook stickers. And get this, this is the best part. You can type in whatever stickers you want. You can click the little shopping bag icon and there will be literally endless stickers. You'll click on one category and there'll be like 45 stickers in one. I can add a sticker here. I'll add a little Coca-Cola. And then you can adjust the opacity and have it fade in or not with a whole bunch of different filters and effects. You can add as many different stickers as you want. Text, I probably use the most on here. I can type in whatever I want. For instance, I'll type in Bill Man Studios. And then see the little color wheel icon, you can click on that and you can change the text, border, shadow, label of your text. It is so easy to use and this definitely brightens up my videos and makes them look way more professional. It is super easy, I can change between different labels and change the opacity and the color of them and then I can also drag and make it bigger if I want to. This thing also supports keyframes. I can add a keyframe to the stickers or the tile and you would just add a keyframe and move where you want the text to be, add a keyframe and move the text and so on and so on until after you're done, let's see, now it moves. I can scale the text or make it longer or bigger or faster or slower and I can also adjust the opacity. If you adjust the opacity, you also have to do that for each keyframe, but that's okay, it's still super easy to use. You can also change the font. There are also a lot, a lot of fonts. And you can also click the shopping bag icon and search for endless fonts. Now it's in Chinese. I wanted to show you the speed function. You can make it ultra, ultra fast or super slow. All you do is slide the bar and you can keep the original pitch so that it doesn't, the pitch doesn't go slower or doesn't speed up like the chipmunks. It is so easy to learn how to do. There's the volume icon, you can click on that and then make the volume super high or super low. You can go to the volume and extract the audio from the video and move that around so that it looks delayed. It is super easy to figure out and see that little square box. This is where you can put all the transitions in. There are a whole bunch of transitions that I haven't even tried out yet and it makes your videos look much nicer. There's also PIP and this allows you to add a little video over your video and this is my favorite part that subscribe button, it's the green screen in the background and I can take the chroma and take away the green and then scale it so that there's no green left. And then there's a nice little subscribe button there. You can click on the canvas icon in the right hand corner and you can switch between all different frames, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, a whole bunch of different other lengths and sizes. You can also do no frame and you can also go to zoom and zoom in on your video or you can go to background. This is the part where it really helps your videos look much nicer. You can change the background from all different shapes and sizes. You can change it to where it's blurry on the background. You can add a photo from your photo library or you can pick color from the video or photo. I can't believe that you can do this but all you do is drag your finger and you can pick which color and it will automatically go to the back right there as you can see. There's also the replace icon, this is pretty helpful too. You can replace one of your videos with another video from your photo library like this nice dandelion. 
there's also the duplicate button and you can duplicate a video or picture or a freeze as many times as you want over and over and over. You can also rotate the clip by just clicking the rotate icon. Tap it once and it'll rotate around once and so on and so on. There's also the flip icon and you can flip your picture sideways or front ways. And there is also reverse, you click it and it'll load for a bit. And then it will reverse your video. You should check out my peeling in orange but it's backwards video. There's also crop and you can crop your video and you can crop your video super small or you can just crop it a little bit. It's really helpful. There's also settings and there are some handy helpful settings in there. See the plus icon in the corner of the screen? You can click on that and you can add just a blank page. And this is helpful. I've used this in a whole bunch of my videos. You can also go and add another video or a picture. This is helpful so that you don't have to start all over and re-add all of them. There is also the record feature and you can of course voice over and record your voice. And there is effects, there is boards, you can click on boards and use and then it will be in your video. You can click on tracks and there will be a whole bunch of different categories and there will be like a whole bunch of music inside and you can download the music and then you can click use and scale it and fit it where it can fit in your video nicely. You can also split and trim that, you can tone down the volume, make it fade in, make it fade out. So for the rest of the video I'm just going to be doing a speed edit and I'm going to try and make this video look at least a little bit good. So here it goes. So this is my final video. <laughs> now for this app you do need to get the premium version for it for some of the things like all of those stickers and all of those filters but it does come with a number of filters and stickers already built into it. But that is what I think the best video editing app is for the iPad. If not, feel free to download any other app that you want and make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my future videos just like this one. So stay tuned for that and once again, I am out of here. If you don't, if not, feel free if not, feel free to download and if not, feel free to download and if not, feel free to download and if not, feel free to